Crafting an optimized title, description, and tags for your video can help greatly increase your video's discoverability within search and related videos on YouTube. Starting with your video's title. First and foremost, you wanna make it, well, searchable by incorporating some of that keyword research we did in the previous lesson. You'll also wanna save any brand terms or show terms for the end, if at all. This is prime real estate here. If your show is episodic, you can always put the episode number or part number at the end of the title. This is a great way to let people know that there are other videos within this series, and it can sometimes help them rank together uh, as related videos as well. You also wanna make sure this isn't just a big keyword salad up there too. You have to make your title actually interesting or intriguing. Uh, so think about how people will view it also in line with your thumbnail. Uh, my favorite example of a thumbnail title combo is this one here from Vsauce. Look at that, this is not yellow. That's definitely getting a click. And then lastly, it should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway, make sure your title's accurate. We're not trying to fool anybody here, so don't even think about it. Moving on to the description. The first two lines are the most important because they'll be shown without having to click the show more button. So you wanna make sure you accurately describe the video in a sentence or two up front and add your most important link within that section. So an important link could be a link to subscribe or a link to another video or to a product or landing page that you wanna drive your viewers to. Making sure it's within those first two lines, make sure it's above the fold and you don't have to add any additional clicks. Now there is a show more section, so you can show a lot more info and don't be afraid to add more information to your video's descriptions. People that click that show more are looking for a lot more info, so you might as well give it to them. You can add links to additional videos, any references, you can link to playlists or any you know, relevant pages on your website. Uh, this is also a great place to put all of your social media links too if you want people to you know, follow you around the web. Uh, and lastly, don't add a pile of keyword tags to your description. I've seen brands just put keyword after keyword after their description, hoping that it'll help them rank higher for some of those terms. But YouTube's actually on the lookout for that tactic and considers it to be pretty spammy. So save your tags for the next section, the tag section. When choosing tags, we should really go back to that keyword research that we did in the previous lesson. And I like to add about five to 15 keyword tags per video. I like to use a mix of both general and specific terms uh, and make sure to throw a couple brand terms in there as well, or just a you know consistent channel name as a tag, just to make sure all your videos are seen as being closely related to each other. And lastly, I like to go back after a month or so and see how effective my tags have actually been and if I'm getting any traction or viewership from the, the keywords I've chosen. I'll show you how to see that information when we talk about YouTube analytics a little bit later on in the course.